Hey guys, Kim with Perfectus Group, and today we're talking all about Vertex's EDC commuter sling. Push, push, push. Okay guys, so welcome back, but before I kind of jump into this bag, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys that I've never really been a person that's carried a bag let alone a sling bag. Now, a backpack, yeah, you know, in law enforcement, what I was doing, we did carry backpacks sometimes, but for an everyday carry type bag, hell no. However, I saw one of these for the first time at the NRA annual meet in Dallas uh, a couple months back. And I was very impressed, got one in the mail, and I've been using this thing every single day. So I just wanted to kind of put this out there in the beginning. I'm not a huge fan of these bags, but I'm making a video, so it must be good, and it's definitely something that I'm actually using every day. So let's get into the bag. Okay, so we're gonna start with the strap. Like I said, it's a single strap design, so there's not the two straps like you're normally gonna see on a backpack. It's got the single strap design. It's designed to come over the left shoulder. Um, this strap is padded. If we look on the back side, it's padded. It's decently comfortable. Um, I've had to wear this for like two and three hours at some points um, and I really was expecting for it to not be comfortable um, and to my surprise it was especially for just having one strap so when we look at this strap it's got some little loops here you can hook some stuff on it you know if you got a d-ring or whatnot um, it also has this little area right here like if I want to throw my keys in or anything that you want to attach to this strap but you want to make it, I guess, e more easily accessible. So you can grab this little pull tab, pull it, and whatever is attached is going to come right off. Um, I do like these little leather accents that they have. It like really classes the bag up, and it kind of gets the bag further away from that, hey, I've got two guns on my back type look. You know? So it's an everyday carry you know, styling. Um, below that, there is a buckle. So the cool thing about this buckle is like if you've got a ton of crap in this bag, Sometimes it can be easier for you to put the bag on via undoing and rebuckling this buckle here. Um, so you can put it on that way. There's also another buckle here, and there's a smaller strap off to my left um, that you can bring up and then buckle into here again. If you have a lot of stuff in this backpack, it is only on one shoulder. So by running this other strap up and buckling it in here, it kind of helps pull the strap away from the neck and it kind of eases some of that tension. So, okay, so let's get into the compartments. This strap is an orbital strap design. So it's designed, you notice, if you notice, I just kind of pulled the bag from behind me to in front of me pretty easily. But this particular bag has four compartments. We're gonna start with this first compartment right here that you see. Basically to access this compartment, it's a little tab here. You grab the tab, it's Velcroed on the inside, but you grab the tab and pull once you open up this compartment here you notice that there's molly from end to end but on this center section here you have velcro so whatever you want to put there of course vertex's logo right here um i like this compartment because you can put ma extra magazines your knife just whatever patches whatever you want to put there something that i really do love about this compartment is this if you look very closely you probably weren't able to tell right off the bat, but right here, there's a hidden compartment. It's held together via Velcro. I like this because you can throw stuff like your passport, cash, things of that nature in here, those items that you don't want people to be able to find easily. Moving on to the flap here, if you notice, we've got these little straps here. Let me undo them really quickly. There we go. So when we undo this strap, you notice that there's a hook right here. And on either side of the bag, you have these loops. If I can find the loop, there's a loop there. You can take this hook, hook it into the loop, and you can take the other hook here and hook it into the loop on this side. And what that allows you to do is that if you have like a jacket or shoes or anything like that, once you have this hooked together, you can throw your jacket through there. It makes it easy to take wherever you gotta go, especially if you don't have any more room inside of the bag. Now, let me show you another feature with this front compartment here, and this is a feature that I really like. For me, security is always a thing. When this is on your back, you're walking throughout the airport, you're walking wherever you are, especially you're standing in line for TSA 
or standing in line anywhere, you know, there's people that are within close proximity to you, especially behind you. And there are people that are good enough that can open a bag, get inside of a bag and take something out without you knowing. So with this front pocket here, it has these extra buttons on the inside. When you zip this up just a little bit more, you can take this button and then the other end, the male end of the button is on the inside of the flap here. You can button it there and then you can button it here. If I can get it, get it, there we go. And when I button that there, secure the Velcro on the top, make sure it's zipped all the way. It's going to make it very hard to get inside of here. And especially being that it has that hidden compartment, this is probably where I'm going to put valuables and things that I don't want people to be able to find. I love having that extra security with those additional buttons on the inside. So if somebody goes to mess with this bag behind me, I'm going to feel them tugging on it and then they're going to have a problem, obviously. So that's the front pocket. Let's move on to the second compartment. Now, when we open up this second compartment, this second compartment is just a little bit bigger than the first compartment. If you notice, and I'm going to bring it up, this right here is designed, if you notice, the bag is designed to be worn this way, meaning it's designed, if the bag is behind me and then I bring it around front, it's designed for me to access these different compartments in this configuration. To talk about this particular pocket here, we have a zippered compartment here. You can put stuff in there. I like that. Um, here you have like some admin style pockets, you know, I have a pen and a marker there, put whatever you want. The other cool thing is, is that this is like the loop side of Velcro. So you can put your patches and stuff in there. If you have, um, additional Mac pouches that have Velcro on the back, slap them in here, things of that nature. So that's the second compartment. Let's move to the third. Now with this third compartment, this third compartment is more designed to hold your laptop. So I'm going to open this flap up here. You see my laptop in there. It's got a strap that comes across, okay, to actually hold the laptop in. Um, and, and it kind of keeps it from moving around and it makes it a little bit more secure. There is padding in here um, to help protect the laptop as well. Um, and it can hold up to a 15 inch laptop. I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro in here. Um, it also has two fairly large pockets on the actual flap here. And usually I'll put like the charger to my laptop, things like that in there. So that's the third compartment. Let's move on to the fourth compartment. Now I've nicknamed the fourth compartment, the I'm going to get you sucker compartment. And the reason why is because again, like I said, this bag is designed for off body carry of your firearm and your magazines. The fourth compartment, the compartment that's the closest to your body is where you're going to put your firearm. Let me open this up and I'm going to open it up fully so that this opens all the way so that you can see what I've done on the inside here. It has like the loop side of Velcro and I've taken a holster. This holster in particular is from TXC holsters. Um, it's just a, their normal ally holster. I put some, uh, Velcro, uh, on the back side. So the hook side of Velcro, um, I went to like Hobby Lobby and got it. And then it just, uh, it has adhesive on the other side and I stuck it to the back of the holster and the mag pouch. And I'm able to put this in here and this is, so this is where my gun goes. This is also where the magazine goes. I like this because it's on my body center line, especially if you carry appendix. One of the reasons why appendix carry is uh, so much faster um, than carrying anywhere else inside the waistband is because it's on the body center line. So when I set this up, I set it up so that this holster is still on my center line. It still has, it's at a good angle so that after I unzip this, I can get inside here. I can unholster the gun and deploy the gun. If I have to do a reload, I'm coming down and I'm indexing my magazine as I would if it was on my belt. I can take that magazine out, insert it into the gun and keep going. So that's what this compartment is for. However, how you access this compartment in an emergency type situation is really, really cool. If you notice right here on the top, I've got this, I'm going to get you sucker handle. That's what I call it. No, don't know what Vertex calls it, but that's what I call it. I like to put it right here. So if the bag is right in front of you, you want it on this corner over here. When I rotate the bag around, that handle is right here next to my back right pocket. 
So if I have my hands in my pockets or if I'm just standing with my arms to my side, that handle is within like three or four inches of my hand. Now, how you deploy this, how you would uh, deploy your gun out of this bag is this. You're standing, you're talking, you're BSing with whomever, something goes down, remember that I'm gonna get you sucker handles right there three or four you know, inches from your hand, you grab it and in one swift motion, you're gonna pull the bag around your body. After you get it to the front, you're gonna continue to hold on to that handle and then open up the bag one, smith, one swift motion, easy to do. After that, you can reach inside of the bag, index your firearm, and present the gun. Let me do that again for you at like a closer to normal speed. So I'm sitting here talking, hey, what's up, man? Oh my God, oh, oh my goodness, somebody's robbing the bank. Oh, bring it in front of you, index your gun, come on out, and you're ready to go. If I need to do a magazine change or anything like that, I can do it and it's very, very easy. The other thing is this, and I think that this is absolutely incredible. This bag, if you get one of these bags, you're able to buy body armor from a company called Premier Body Armor. They make armor or backpack panels that are specifically designed to work with Vertex bags. Down here, I don't know if you can see it, you see that red inner zippered pocket. When I unzip this, there's my backpack panel from Premier Body Armor on the inside. Now that's where they designed it to go. Now let me show you something, because typically when people are deploying, this, this, uh, deploying their gun from this bag, they're not going to unzip this fourth compartment to where the entire bag folds all the way open. But I like to unzip it, get to my gun, do what I need to do. But if I'm taking fire, I'm going to unzip this bag all the way. And let me tell you why. So the reason why I'm going to undo this bag all the way so that this fourth compartment opens completely is because if we go back to this third compartment where the laptop is, Behind the laptop, there's another red zippered compartment. And what I did is I got a second backpack panel from Premier Body Armor, and I put it inside of this compartment. I'm gonna unzip it. Now you can see the additional Premier Body Armor backpack panel that I have in this one here. And that's in my third compartment. So I have a backpack panel in the third compartment that houses the laptop and the accessories for the laptop. And then I also, I'm going to zip this back up, I also have one in this fourth compartment. So what that does is, is once I unzip this fourth compartment completely, and now this fourth compartment is open completely, now I have body armor from about mid-thigh all the way up and covering a good portion of my chest. So final thoughts on this bag. I love this bag. I love it enough to use it every single day. One of the main reasons why is because it holds my firearm, but it does it purposefully in a way that I can actually use it and deploy it quickly and consistently. So that's the first reason. The other reason is that it holds body armor. Um, I think it's awesome and I kind of get like this warm and fuzzy feeling. When I go to grab this bag, if I'm having to use it to defend other people's lives, I can grab this bag, it has body armor to protect me, and a firearm and extra magazines to stop bad people. That's the second reason. Third reason that I like this bag is that it blends in. It does not scream that I've got body armor and guns inside of this bag. People that see this bag have no idea what it has inside or what it's capable of, and that's what I love. I the fourth reason why I like this bag is that it is decently comfortable. When I have my gun, both backpack panels from Premier Body Armor, my laptop and everything, it's not super heavy, but it's got a little weight to it. And I wasn't really expecting for it to be this comfortable, especially only having one sling and going over one shoulder. So I have one shoulder that's supporting all this weight. The last reason why I really like this bag is that it looks great. It's very, very durable, but it looks good too. It's a nice stylish bag. My favorite part of the bag is this area right here where it's like this brown, like uh, terracotta looking leather. It reminds me of a car that I had in the past. And then it also has those same accents here. 
the the bag and I hadn't really talked much about that <clears throat> but the build quality is very very good all right so that's what I think of the vertex EDC commuter sling bag like I said easy to access your firearm on the inside of the bag you can come out take care of business if you need to do a reload that's there too I just I really like the bag it, it just it's a very very nice bag if you have not checked it out I'd welcome you to go on their website I think it's vertex.com so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions about this bag just put them in the comments below if you'd like to find out more information about Provectus Group and what we do check out our website www.provectusgroup.org you can also check us out on social media Facebook and Instagram at Provectus Group Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.